Not only that iPad OS is highly optimized and fully functional, there's so many awesome accessories that is available for an iPad such as Apple Pencil and a Magic Keyboard. However, in this video, I wanna talk about my favorite apps and tips to boost up your usage of an iPad. So let me stop talking and let's get right into it. Yo, what up, editing piece here. I just realized that I have like a small kimchi stain on my mouth, but please ignore it, please. And if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. I'll guarantee that this video will kind of sort of maybe a little bit change your life, but let's get back to the video. Structure is a calendar slash to-do list app that looks super simple and minimalistic. The app can sync up with your iCloud or Google Calendar to match all of your schedule from various of calendar apps. When you create a new event on this app, you can customize the time, the length of the task, and you can also color code the event if you want to. Plus, inside of your task, you can set a video call from FaceTime, set a location, share the link of your task, and even write a note under it. I would recommend this app for people who are seeking a simplistic yet highly functional calendar app on their iPad. The pro version of this app is only at $4.99, so I think this is highly worth it. Speaking of a calendar app, I still think Google Calendar is one of the best calendar applications that you can get on probably any type of devices. I basically do everything on Google Calendar, such as to-do list, weekly planning, time management, and way more other stuff. Moreover, Google Calendar is one of the calendar apps that will sync up with a bunch of other productivity apps. So once you set your Google Calendar up, you'll be pretty much set with other type of productivity apps. Lastly, the coolest thing about this app is that it won't require you to stay in one specific OS. So whether you want to hop on an Android, iOS, Linux phone, Windows phone, RP to Windows phone, it won't force you to stay in one of those specific OS. So I do highly recommend this app and I really want you guys to check it out. For note taking, one of the best advantage of owning an iPad is the flexibility of handwriting note taking. If you like to do mind map, or whiteboarding, I think iPad is one of the best device that you can probably use for your studying or job or any type of creative process. When it comes to those free form handwriting type of apps, I do have two suggestions. Number one is Map Notes 2. The reason why I highly suggest this app is because their affordability and the flexibility that they provide you for the price. I think it was around $1.99. However, this app does not require you to have those subscription type of you know, paying plan like other mind mapping apps. And this app is so simple that you don't need any type of learning curve to use this app. This app will just do what it's supposed to do for a very cheap price and sometimes you just need a simple app. And the second suggestion for freestyling note-taking app is Apple Notes. I feel like Apple Notes are one of the most underrated note-taking apps in the history of note-taking apps especially on iPad. You have variations of pen tools and you can also attach photos and video as well. You're even able to shoot a photo and convert that into a PDF file, which is very, very useful. Plus, if you update it to the iPad OS 15, you will have a ability called Quick Notes. And Quick Notes is very useful, especially if you have some like idea just popping in your head and you just wanna quickly write it down using your Apple Pencil. You can also use a keyboard, but I highly suggest you to buy an Apple Pencil if you especially using an iPad. Apple Notes is totally free and it is default on your iPad. So if you're just feeling reluctant to find some new note-taking apps, I do highly suggest Apple Notes because it's just keep getting better and better. If you guys know me well, you guys know that I used to be a huge advocate for Pomodoro Technique app. However, since I've been using the same timer over and over, I kind of want to spice it up a bit. So I found this app called Tide. Tide is a meditation app slash nature sound app slash Pomodoro timer app, which is pretty confusing. Not only you can play a sound of a fireplace, forest, beach, and rain, you can also find a guided meditation with a narrator. Like, how cool is that? The following practice will help you with improving focus. Find yourself a quiet place and sit down in a comfortable position. Even the free version can give you a lot of feature completely free. So I do highly recommend this app because sometimes environment of sound is very helpful and rain does 
calm me down a lot. I love it. Okay, lastly, I wanna share some tips to boost up your productivity when you're using an iPad, especially if you're using the iPad OS 15. SmartStack is one of the simplest and easiest way to access all of your favorite widget within the iPad's home screen. This is helpful to minimize your home screen space, but keep as functional as possible. I usually have the screen on time at the top, Notion, then file management app because you know you always need to know your screen on time. Custom focus mode is hands down my favorite feature that is available on the iPad OS 15. You can customize the time, contact notification, and apps notification, but not only that, you can also hide the notification badges, limit your home screen pages, and add some schedule for automation so your iPad will automatically turn on of its custom focus mode and you don't even have to manually turn it on. I'm gonna be honest, I think I can make a full dedicated video about this focus mode because of the usability and how much I use this thing. Like, it is literally awesome. Anyway guys, this was a quick video about my favorite productivity apps and tips for iPad. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you guys like tech video that is a little bit funny, but not really funny, I guess, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if you guys like to check out my other videos, check these two out first. And after that, you guys can check out my most recent video and my channel too. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. My name is Peace Case. You guys already know. Peace out, guys.